Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. I have a requested video on hard drives. The question was, is it worth more money to scrap the hard drive as a whole or to separate the hard drive piece by piece and sell it for scrap? So now I have here 30 hard drives that I'm going to take apart and show you which is worth more money. All right, so we're going to scrap this 40 gigabyte hard drive. And first thing we're going to do is take all the screws out. Now, I purchased for this video, this is a Radio Shack 21 piece precision driver set. What I like about this is it has all the little, those little screws, the little bits, driver bits that you need to take apart a hard drive. And sometimes you'll need either two or three of them, but this comes with all of them. So let's get started. Now, all the screws have been removed. Now, there is always a hidden screw behind this tape here. So usually you just pass your finger and you'll find it. The screw's right here. So all you have to do is just break it with your screw, a screwdriver, and there's the hidden screw. We're just gonna go now and unscrew it. And sometimes you might need a screwdriver to pop this one open. I'm going to use a flathead. And that's it. All right, guys, this is the inside of a hard drive. As you can see, this piece here is called a spindle. This is the platter that holds all the zeros and ones of your information. The top coating here is made of platinum. The inner part is made of aluminum. This little piece here it's called a head. This is an actuator arm. This is actually aluminum. The magnet itself is inside. This is iron boron and the magnet itself is a rare earth magnet or rare earth metal. And it's called neodymium. Neodymium. I can't pronounce it guys. I've never heard anyone say it. And the inner part is coated with nickel. That way the rare earth magnet just doesn't disintegrate and you can read more about it if you want on the internet about rare earth magnets. Now the casing itself is made of aluminum. This part here, we're going to start testing them to see which ones are steel, which ones are aluminum. And if you turn it around, we have here a logic board. Now these logic boards believe it or not guys, are worth more money than a, than a motherboard. Now, I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to show, we're going to weigh one pound of these, and we're going to weigh one pound of motherboards, and I'm going to show you the difference on why are these worth more money. So now we'll remove that there, which is actually made of aluminum. We're going to remove the platter. Look at that. Nice little platter there. Also, we're going to remove the magnet. Sometimes you might need a screwdriver to get the magnet off. There you go, just to take them apart from the other magnet. So this is the inside of a, ma of a the magnet there. I told you this is, this is actually the magnet right there, that little piece. And sometimes these have to be popped out. We're just going to unscrew this part here. And sometimes these don't want to come out, but usually with a hammer, there you go, comes right out. And this is just a little piece of copper on top, which looks like gold. And the rest of it here can just come out very easily. There you go. Now, these two magnets, you don't put them together. You don't put your finger in between these two magnets because of the force that they have. They can actually, you know, pinch you depending on how big the magnets are so you want to be very careful with these magnets now we're going to remove this piece here because this piece the spindle this is made of steel so we don't want that we want a empty shell little piece of foam here which doesn't matter if you 
keep it on or not. And there you have it. There is an empty shell of pure aluminum. There is another one, just like this one, and it still has a spindle on it. This one is not going to come out really easy. You just need to put a little nail set in that little hole, and it'll pop right out. So let's do that now. Now in the instance that this happens, usually you can just use a screwdriver and they pop right out. So these are actually copper. I just sell them as is, I won't do anything with them. But this is it guys, this is a solid piece of aluminum that you can sell. Now what you're seeing here is 30 pieces of pure aluminum. This is nothing else but aluminum. These are 30 pieces of hard drives that I took apart. Didn't take that long and I had a lot of fun doing this because everything inside was really interesting. Now this is 30 pieces of aluminum. Now we have 13 pounds 12 ounces. This is 3 pounds of steel two pounds of aluminum. Now this is 42 hard drive platters. This is 16, only 16 logic boards that weighed a little bit over a pound. This is all steel. These are the magnets, two pounds. This is really interesting because you notice the first one looks like gold and the second one looks like copper. I'm gonna to have to do some more research on this. And this is what they all look like, weighed together, only nine ounces. This is all aluminum and it was about four ounces. This is just steel and it was about 13 ounces. Now you see here, this motherboard is going to weigh one pound. Now, logic boards cost more because there's more gold and other precious metals in these little boards than in the motherboard. Now this is all 30. Before I scrap them, this is what they weigh. 33 pounds, 3 ounces. Now this is the total price list. All right, guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. This is what's in 30 hard drives. Please comment, like, subscribe. Till then, guys, peace.